Hello, welcome to this game I play every day. La 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 la. It's a Samson run, we know how these work. You take damage on purpose. Uh, let's kill Envy faster than we normally would. Ooh. That seems nice. A few extra bombs. Probably won't hurt. Let's uh, damage these slightly. And then when Envy gets close. We can, uh, you know, push the plunger. That didn't work too well. That didn't work too... Oh, that did work. Oh, what a way to start. Envy fight. Oh, just don't take damage. Because we do take damage. We do more damage. Oop. So, it's not the end of the world, but we'd like to not take damage we don't need to take. Um, constructive damage in the form, of course, of the IV bag is where we're going to be aiming for for a successful Samson run, but of course it really depends on what our item rooms contain. Shoot the weak, I'm not even going to spend the points on picking it up. Although it may turn out to have been the best option for a space for our item in the entire game knowing this game. Ooh, that was interesting. Uh, reasonably easy. Let's, um, let's not worry about red heart damage on this floor. The only thing I'm worried about in this general case is the point penalty to taking damage at all. So, you know, no deal with the devil on the first floor, nothing to worry about. Mr. Mega is worth taking. If not for any other reason, then it gives us five bombs. Run. Oh, I'm not a fan of this. Run. Don't hit me. Oh, I didn't. Good. Maybe we should shoot these fires. Mm. Maybe we should just blow them up. A couple of pennies certainly helps. Hopefully, maybe we can find a blood bank to make use of that heart that just dropped. Because Ah, that's very nice. Thank you. Thank you in every respect. <laughs> that's all the consumables that I'm going to need for the next while. And there's even more bombs. So this is going to be a bomb-heavy run. As we can probably tell. So we might as well put this here and see what we get out of that tinted rock. It's another spirit heart. We're on spirit hearts, so we might as well take it. I want to try and use blood banks. Uh, obviously, well, obviously... Don't know. Red heart damage is uh, red heart damage done by blood banks does not count against you uh, when it comes to calculating your deal with the devil chance, which means as Samson you can take red heart damage with an IV bag or blood bag to do damage to yourself to get your damage bonus for the floor. Okay. <laughs> um, without worrying too much uh, about the deal with the devil, and the IV bag and Blood bag will of course allow you to. Ah, uh, we'll blow this up. See what's inside it. Uh, take run away. <laughs> Red heart damage without taking spirit heart damage. So uh, at this stage, now that we have a maybe here, uh, eternal heart, we probably don't want to waste that. If we did find a blood bank, which is unlikely, um, I'm going to try here then. Yep. So secret rooms, curse rooms. These are the sorts of things we want to be dealing with. We've got plenty of bombs, we don't need to worry about our economy on those just yet. Of course we've got the, the matchstick down here. I think that even further increases our chances oh, excuse me, of getting bombs. So, Mr. Mega and a bomb trinket seems like a decent synergy to start with. Let's just try not to take damage against uh, a reasonably easy early game fight. He says nearly taking damage against uh, randomly firing the... We're not doing a huge amount of damage. Um, this is because we haven't had a damage upgrade, and um, I haven't taken any damage. <laughs> you know, it's difficult to be upset about the fact that you've managed to not take damage for an entire cellar. Uh, but there you are. That's Samson for you. I do like the Widow's uh, tendency to crush its own minions. That <laughs> was very close as well. Probably should have taken damage there. Come on, nearly done. There we go. And we will finish these ads off. Clean up the mess, and we will head on. Experimental treatment. Let's do it. We got HP out of it. Let's see what else changed. Possibly we're faster, slower, more or less damage, that sort of thing. There's an extra HP, so now we're very good. Uh, I feel slower, if I'm honest. So we probably lost out on that. Our damage seems like it's higher, though. Just judging on the size of tiers, it may not have actually changed. There is a mod. Um, which you can get that will tell you how much damage you're doing. And all the other stats will be listed on the left-hand side. You may have seen it in screenshots of the game. 
part, obviously, I don't have that installed. Um, mostly, <laughs> mostly because it kind of spoilers things like experimental treatment, where you don't know how how it's affected you. Let's see if we can find the item room. Well, there's a there's a double key room here, which could be interesting. I think with three keys, it's worth doing. And hope there aren't more key things on the inside. Uh, there are key things on the inside. It's key. Hematemesis, if you say so. Uh, Hematemesis there, which is how I'm going to continue to pronounce it, irrespective of what the announcer says. Um, Hematemesis always reduces you to a single HP, red HP. Which is, uh, now I think about it, exceptionally useful, because that's a boss trap room up there. Uh, and if I thought about it, rather than just picking up the HP because I was scared, it would have been worth our while to not pick up the HP straight away, but rather try and see whether the boss trap room is worth fighting in. Because you can only get into a boss trap room if you have a single red heart or fewer. Uh, filled. So you can have as many containers as you like, but obviously as long as you've only got one of them filled, you can get into the boss trap room. I'm hoping for a uh, small rock. We're extremely potent right now. Fucking run away. <laughs> I don't know what that would have done if I pressed those. So our item room is probably over there, but we might as well beat the crap out of the boss. Get our deal with the devil. It is a small room monstro fight, which is actually quite challenging. Uh, please don't move. Thank you. Because uh, you can't do your normal dodging. So that's the first damage I've taken from the whole run, which... Oh, it's the second damage I've taken. So we've got two damage upgrades from Bloody Lust right now. Because obviously I got hit by that bomb on the previous floor, uh, pl uh, room. We might as well take it, we're probably going to spend some anyway, and it's not going to do us any... Oh dear, look how much HP we're going to have to sacrifice to use these. Well, we'll take them both. Um, this is succubus, yeah, damage booster. I think it will not be prudent at this stage to try and use Dark Judas. Because we'd have to get through so much HP um, to, uh, to, to kill ourselves like that. So what I'm going to hope for, maybe there's a, an arcade somewhere we can fight in the in the, the boss trap room, that sort of thing. But what I'm really hoping for, uh, against all odds, is a Suicide King card, because that would give us... Addicted. Don't know what that does, but okay. It would give us an immense amount of uh, value. And just one card. Wow, you're noisy. <laughs> I didn't even do anything and it died. That's amazing. All right. Let's see what's in here. D6. That's really good. Okay, so um, this is one of those turning points for a run. Presumably everybody's picked up the D6. Presumably everybody's got as many consumables as I have. Maybe some people would have spent the bombs on the coins. I think I might spend bombs on these coins, actually. Uh, there could be a secret room here as well, so eh, it's kind of worth a shot. Not really. One bomb for three coins. I think it's worth it simply because it got us to 15, which allows us to come in here and decide that we don't want any of this, and maybe we will take... Do I want the battery? I think I'd rather have the battery over the map. My reasoning for that is that the D6 is very strong with the battery, and the map, the blue map, kind of strong on its own, kind of depends on your on your look as, as the secret rooms go. Um, you have to get good luck with secret rooms, basically, is what I'm saying there. Oh, no secret room there. For the blue map to actually turn out to have been valuable, right? You can't decide up front whether the blue map's valuable because you don't know what the secret rooms are going to contain, although many secret rooms have a good chance of containing something decent. Uh, you never know whether it's going to be good for you. Meanwhile, we are charging up... Oh, there's a hole there. I didn't even see it. We're charging up the D6 doubly, so if we do 12 rooms, well, we've had this discussion. Uh, I'll have it again. We charge at the, excuse me, D6. Basically, 12 rooms gets you two charges on the D6, and if you happen to find the item room after the 7th or 8th room, you've still got, you know, a couple of charges already built up inside your D6 at that point. Uh, so, it's just much more likely that you can get the good economy out of the room chargings with uh, a double charge D6. This is a very strangely shaped floor, is it not? Especially to say that the secret room is not where I thought it was, which seems like the, still seems like the most likely place 
for the secret room to be. We're uh, just putting into practice our new newfound dodge skills. Don't know if you noticed that. So we're definitely trying to avoid taking dumb damage. Oh yes, like that. Thank you for demonstrating. Didn't need that. The world card. Mm, probably use it on the next floor. We've explored enough of this floor to not necessarily make it worth the effort. I'm going to assume that's our shop and not go to it, therefore. And here's our boss. Uh, we will trade this. Probably... Well, we don't have so much HP deficit that I'm considering wasting a Mr. Megabomb on... Um, wasting. Spending a Mr. Megabomb on a Spirit Heart Ring. However, I am considering spending a Mr. Mega Bomb on Chad here because he's taking his goddamn time to die. So we probably want to do... Where are we going? The mom fight. So we definitely want to try and get there in time for boss rush because we've made that mistake before. Let's not do it again. And we will re-roll little Chad because little Chad is going to be not as valuable as... Uh, a shot speed upgrade and some evil. The evil upgrade, I believe, gives you a better chance to deal with the devil. But at this stage of the game somewhat crucially, or at least more immediately importantly uh, a black heart. So we've used our reroll and we have one charge. Plenty of bombs. Uh, now I think about it, I may spend a bomb on that um, that spirit heart that we didn't want to get. Mostly because I have reminded myself that I have the matchsticks, so bombs are not going to be in short supply. And I think it's definitely worth doing this floor even though there's several big rooms on it because please break help uh, A we're probably going to have to do the majority of it just to find our item room we'll come back this way so I won't worry about that key uh, and B we're early enough that just uh, boss rush is not an issue right now I'm not quite sure how this incubus works you can see that shots that go shots seem to be getting larger and smaller so uh, Loki well, Loki, four-way buddy. You see how, when it's behind us, it seems, or when it's near us, our shots are much bigger. So I think that's how it works. I think it's when it's on top of us. Or maybe it's a proximity thing. Our shots are increased in size and therefore presumably damage, which is what it says it does. Uh, no. Maybe. Right, what floor are we on? I think this is cave one. So we want to be out here here. Kinda of now-ish. Maybe I could have re-rolled little Loki, but I kinda of like having the extra firepower. That causes uh, status effects to last longer when they apply to enemies. This is the last room anyway, so maybe if we get a press on on the next floor we can uh, make up the boss rush that way. Do shots get bigger as they approach, maybe? Doesn't look like it. I think it's just straight up where they are. Gives us another bomb. And another charge on our, um, our D6 there, so we can, if we find an early item room on the next floor, we can certainly think about re-rolling it. I'm guessing maybe, well, I was going to say maybe the secret room is over here, but now I think about it, it can't be up here because you can't get out there. There won't be a door there is what I'm saying. So I won't fuss it too much, I'll find both, uh, find one of the secret rooms naturally on this floor just by popping the world card straight away. The world. The world. There's a chest room, so we'll go in that, see what we can get out of there. And maybe some re-rollable goodies in here, we do have three keys. Uh, coins. Maybe a lucky coin or two? Okay. Okay. Plenty of them though, definitely go to the shop. Hopefully find a key. We can almost, we can also, almost, what am I thinking? Uh, we can also consider amnesia. Well, fuck. Well, we know the boss is up there and we know the item room's down here somewhere. So we have some idea of where we're going. We just have to not forget. I was going to say, we can also use this room floor to expedite our boss rush gambit. I took some silly damage here against Larry Senior because I thought I would play chicken with him twice. You know, fool me twice, etc. Fool me three or more times, shame on me. So the boss, the boss, the boss, the boss, the other one. 
Oh, there's a secret uh, curse stream. We will take damage on the curse stream uh, intentionally because I will consider it constructive damage, even though it doesn't fall into the category of red heart damage that we could uh, take on puts. And it worked out because contract from below is pretty decent. And I think this our item room is in here, so. Oh, and the shop, that's good. So we can do both of these at the same time. And we're doing enough damage that these spiders aren't really causing us a problem. Apart from that, they keep moving. There's one left. There is one left. Good. Reroll Bob's brain into Rainbow Baby. <laughs> I think I have enough useless buddies right now. I mean, I don't want to be mean, but at the same time, fuck off. <laughs> 14 minutes. I think we need to be faster, so I'm just going to leave definitely want to do Bosphorus, so we can't afford to go too slowly, is the point here. Not get hit as well, getting hit is uh, going to cost us points. This is a short run, so there's going to be uh, a reasonably low uh, score cap on it, I expect. So speed, but also v diligence, is going to be where the points come from. I say, as though I can reliably ensure that I get points. Bosphorus is, of course, going to be the biggest point getter for most people, and we do have a reroll just in time for the boss, who we are pushing slowly into a red poop. I appreciate that bosses and other enemies take damage from red poop, so if you get him into it, uh, do so. That was bad damage. I will take Jesus Juice. No deal with the devil again. This is upsetting. No deal of any type. Yeah, we need to go faster. <laughs> kind of need to be out of here within a minute, to be honest. So if we don't make her boss rush, it's going to be a bit upsetting, but never mind. Oh, hello, I can see you. I think I can't do They're just taking damage whenever it's nearby, which I think is possibly kind of OP, but also really, really good for me. I found our item room already, so that's helpful. I don't know if you could... That was bad. Drop a key, that would be splendid. Uh, no. Nice thing. There is a key here, but I didn't think I could... Oh, I can get it. Well, let's do that. We'll do this. We'll go into the... Woohoo! No one saw that. Shop first. We will take Black Candle by all means. We will take uh, the other key. And there's nothing else here except a reroll. Uh, I don't know what it does. I'm not going to take it. Uh, reroll again. No, thank you. This is probably really bad. We're <laughs> going so slowly. Uh, fine. I just want to leave. I'm not very fast. Both in terms of, you know, my room fighting ability and also um, my literal speed. So uh, I'm entirely mega chuffed about that. Uh, I don't know. I don't feel like I've taken my time over anything, but at the same time it turns out uh, I've been going really slowly. So what do you know? If everything could just die, that would be super. Thank you. There is a curse room, but I think I will probably not necessarily go into it. See if we can just get rid of these motherfuckers before they make me take any longer on this floor than I already have. Ow. I'm just taking dumb damage now because I'm rushing. And there's spikes there, which I genuinely didn't see. So, kudos to you, game. You got me. Picking up the consumables does help. Yeah, you see, I thought it was going to be more skulls. Excellent. Let's go. Oh, you guys slow me down. I don't need your ship. Is fear shot worth it? Mm, maybe. Maybe against enemies like that. Not necessarily in all situations. Take that to the next floor. And we're nearly there. We just need to kill this boss quickly. That thing. Okay, good. <laughs> Spikes in its way. That was good. The adversary. Uh, keep moving. That's the trick here. I don't think first shot helps too much against the adversary. In fact, it certainly doesn't because you don't know where it's going to land. Please. <laughs> Please just end. Wow. Okay. It was reasonably quick. So we have a couple of minutes. We will take this. It's a look upgrade as well as a... Uh... So our 
Longer way to... Wow, you didn't explode when I expected you to. A longer way to deal with the devil contained fuck all. Right, well, let's see if we can uh, race through this floor. Ah, yes, this is what we want. I know this is taking time. Just go with me. Right, that's about as much as we can afford in that respect. Uh, so let's just go. We'll see if we can get out of here. Look how big our tears are, though. That was why we did that. Because everything is just going to... I think we will make more time up from having done that than we lost. <laughs> that was ballsy as well. Uh, no. <laughs> Actually, I've just realised that's a boss trap room. Which means we're going to be there forever. If we can get out of here... Um, if we can... Get back into this floor after we've done boss rush, that'll be ideal. Because we can go around a bit longer. But really... It doesn't look like we're going to make it. Uh, so, at this stage, I'm just panickingly going as fast as I can to try and get to boss rush. Uh, fine. We're so slow, just walking really slowly, and it's very frustrating. You know, we can't get through the rooms fast enough for the simple reason that they're so far apart. Oh, God, help. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do the boss in 20 minutes, which is a crying shame, but at least we can try and make up the vast number of points that we um, lost as a result. Um, I'm trying to get to things on this floor. It's a shame. I know that many people will have succeeded at Boss Rush and will have realised that their poor timing, if they had poor timing, whilst trying to get to Boss Rush. Uh, pardon? Get down there. Great. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, we don't have any keys. We're running out of bombs. Teleport card. Nope. Too much space though. We have got some keys, so that's okay. Uh, we have got an extra life, so we can possibly use our Dark Judas here. Can we? I don't think so. Ah, it's just a shitload of money. That's a bugger. Well, we might as well explore, see what we can pick up. But, uh, yes, we were too slow for bus rush, which is a big shame. I didn't realise. You know, you don't you don't feel like you're going slowly, especially not on this run. Look how much damage we're doing. How can I have felt like, oh, we need to go a bit faster, right? What are the chances that this run needed to go faster? I don't really want that. Turned out, this run needed to go faster. I hate these. It looks like we're damaging things that we're not even shooting anything near. We should probably pick up some HP. Haha, <laughs> good idea. Thanks for playing. Glad you're paying attention because I'm fucking not. Well, that'll do. Uh, shit. Help. I cannot get off this thing. Holy crap, that room! I had no chance to survive and make my time. Anything for us in the shop? Very funny. Uh, we'll take this two of diamonds. That's probably pretty good, actually, because you do get points for having money at the end. So there you go. Well, thanks, Mom, but your presence is not required. Excuse me. Pop up, please. <laughs> no. 12,000. Kind of poor. Not happy, yeah. 4,000. I, I have no excuse for not getting to boss rush. I just thought I was on time, and I wasn't on time. So, let me know how you did. Leave a comment. Show me your proof. I want to see screenshots. I don't care. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.